Hey everybody, thank you all for tuning in. My name is Sam. I am the superhero. I am a psychic medium and that's what makes me a superhero. So go ahead and like the video and hit that subscribe button because we love superheroes over here. I am a no tools reader and my gift that stands out the most is my clairvoyance. So today I will be doing clairvoyant channel readings regarding what kind of cheater are you? And before we get started, I just want to say that if you pick a pile and it doesn't resonate with you, it's important to know that it was your energy that led you to that pile, okay? And our spirit guides are working overtime to get us the messages that we need. So there is likely something within the pile that you chose that you need to hear, even if you don't like it. I appreciate you all so much for being here. And if you like, love, or hate this video, please consider giving me a super thanks by clicking the thanks button down below and dropping some change in my piggy bank. Now, that is 100% optional and it is also 100% appreciated. Even without doing so, I value your presence for watching, sharing, and commenting on my videos. And now for pile number one, the timestamps are down below. Hi, pile number one. This is what kind of cheater you are. When I first tuned into the energy of this pile, the first energy that I got was the kind of cheater that you are is the sloppy kind. So you're the kind of cheater who is likely to get caught because something tells me that you think that uh, you're really good at lying when in reality you're not. <laughs> OK, uh, people may have even told you that they can see the truth written all over your face. So having a poker face isn't your strong suit, okay? I'm also getting something about you stumbling over your words. And this happens when you start lying, okay? You may even have somewhat of a stutter. I'm also seeing someone like fluttering their eyes. So when you're caught, you're the type that finds it hard to maintain eye-to-eye -eye contact, right? Now, no judgment, but I'm also getting that. This pile is the kind of cheater that would cheat with somebody their spouse already knows. So friends and co-workers are not off the table. I even get that family members are not off the table. I'm also seeing uh, the devil tarot card. So a lot of you in this pile may be Capricorns, okay? And I see that although you are a sloppy cheater, you really enjoy it. It feels like you are somewhat of a risk taker or a thrill seeker, if you will. And you enjoy that energy of almost getting caught. And um, you like the intensity of being in that moment when a person is caught and seeing where it leads you. I also see a lot of you in this pile are into swingers parties, okay? Mixers and orgies and stuff like that. But outside of that, you may live a monogamous type of lifestyle, um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's almost like you have an alter ego, right? Like loving husband by day, but ladies man by night and vice versa. Loving wife by day, lady in the streets by night, whatever. Um, and I'm also getting bisexual energy from this pile as well. So a lot of you go both ways. I'm also picking up on Libra energy, okay? Um, now, let's talk about what makes you a sloppy cheater. You're the kind of cheater that uh, will get a new number, right? And you will put that new number in your phone right in front of your current spouse. And when your spouse asks you, whose number is that? You say something like, I forgot. Like such an obvious freaking lie, right? I forgot. <laughs> now, of course, this would cause your spouse to pry and they would want to see the number, right? So if your spouse asked you to see the number, you suddenly remember it's your mama's number. And when your spouse asked additional clarifying questions, your lies would get worse and worse until your spouse finally snatched the number out of your hand and called the person. And when your spouse called them, your spouse would ask them if they knew you. And the person would say, yes, I just met him around the corner like 10 minutes ago, right? And then the person would describe what you were wearing <laughs> and you'd look at your spouse directly in their eyes and you would say, that's my mama's number, but I don't know who that person is on the phone. <laughs> so the fact that 
you would roll with that explanation makes you manipulative as well. But it's your sloppiness with handling these types of situations that stands out. And the actions that you take in those moments are not easily forgotten. In some cases, I see that they can turn out to be long-standing family jokes. So that's the kind of cheater that you are. I thank you all so much for watching my pal number one. And I will see you all in my next Pick a Pal. Hi, pal number two. This is what kind of cheater you are. So when I first tuned into the energy of this pal, the first energy that I got was the kind of cheater that you are is the patient kind. So you're the kind of cheater who takes your time to plan things out, okay? Outside of being patient, you're also strategic. This pile is also giving me the vibes of someone who is good with numbers, right? I feel like this pile has an analytical mind and the pieces come together easily for you. So you're the kind of cheater that will follow a routine every single day. And even when you decide to cheat, your day will seem as if you are following that same routine that you always follow. So nothing will be out of the ordinary because if you were to pick a person to cheat with, I feel like you would vet them first, right? But before you even decided to take this action, this person would have to be convenient for you which means that they would be a stop along your daily journey. So this could be the man at the coffee shop on your way to work. It could be the attendant at the gas station uh, where you fill up your car twice a week. Because I feel like the person you cheat with would already be a part of your life in one way or the other, even if it were in a small, on a small scale, okay? But you'd vet this person before they ever really knew that you had a true interest in them. You play nice and you ask them questions about themselves and their lifestyle. And if what they said aligned with what you wanted, then you would proposition them. But I feel like you're the sneaky type. So you would say things in such a way that perhaps your words could be misconstrued uh, to mean something else, right? So for example, you'd say something like, what time do you get off? But if that ever got back to your spouse that you asked the gas attendant, let's say, or the coffee shop person, what time they got off work, you would say, I was asking what time the store was closing, right? It's like you have a way with your words that teeters the line between right and wrong, right? And I'm sure you could sum this up better than I can, because I see that one of your talents is that you're a bit of a wordsmith, right? And I'm even seeing music notes around you. So you could very well be some sort of musician or rapper as well, or you could be an activist or a poet of some sort. But I see that you're good at painting a picture, which means that you're good at convincing people what it is that they should believe. There is also something about this pile that puts me in the mind of a cultist, okay? This pile is very skillful and yet mischievous at the same time. And I think that if you really wanted to cheat, you'd get away with it. And if you just so happen to get caught, either A, you want it to be caught, or B, you'd explain your way out of it. So that's the kind of cheater that you are. I thank you so much for watching my pal number two, and I will see you all in my next Pick a Pal. Hi, pal number three. This is what kind of cheater you are. When I first tuned into the energy of this pal, the first energy that I got was the kind of cheater that you are is the ballsy kind. So you're the kind of cheater that leaves one date and immediately goes on the next date. And your next date could be waiting for you right around the corner. You're the kind of cheater who texts your ex-partner right in front of your current partner. You're the kind of cheater who announces you're having a baby shower. 
even though the new baby isn't a product of you and your current partner's relationship because your current partner didn't even know that you were cheating until, of course, you announced the baby shower. Uh, there is something about this pal that has the attitude of, it is what it is. It's like you act first and then you think later because you don't mind dealing with the consequences as they come. And it's not even that you have a plan uh, to deal with the consequences because you're the type of cheater to wing it. So if you were to get caught cheating, you likely stand there looking at your partner like you're waiting to see what happens next. Um, but I don't think that you're the type to start hooping and hollering, screaming, please give me another chance or baby, it ain't what you think. I feel like if your spouse expressed their hurt, um, you if they express their hurt, you would say, well, if you want to go, I understand that. And that would probably hurt your spouse just as much as you cheating on them to begin with. On another note, you're so ballsy of a cheater that you remind me of this old episode of Seinfeld when George got fired from his job and then he showed up the next day like nothing ever happened. That was such a funny episode. But like this is the pile to where big balls live, okay? Because you guys cheat like some people breathe air. It is just a second nature to you. It's like on your to-do list. <laughs> and I think that you have the kind of spouses who aren't leaving. So even though the names of your sneaky links change, your partners are the types of partners who know who you really are, okay? Your, your partners know who you really are. And although they don't like it, they're not leaving. It's kind of like, just don't do it in front of me. Or keep it away from home and um, then they pray that you're not interested in one of the neighbors, right? Because they know if you were, nothing would be able to stop you from pursuing that person. So you're in, you're a pretty intense type of cheater, my pal number three. And I pick up on the energy of you feeling like relationships don't have to be so traditional. Like the days of relationships being between one man and one woman are over. Or should I say monogamy in general is over, right? This pile gives me heavy fire sign energy. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo also get strong Gemini here as well and Libra. Well, stronger Gemini than Libra if I'm being honest. So that's the kind of cheater that you are. I thank you so much for watching my pile number three. And I will see you all in my next pick a pile. Hi, pal number four. This is what kind of cheater you are. When I first tuned into the energy of this pal, the first energy that I got was the kind of cheater that you are is the tab keeper. So what makes this pal funny is that you guys wouldn't actually cheat unless you felt like you were being cheated on which is why you are called the tab keeper because you are definitely my pal to keep tabs. And I'm feeling water sign energy here as in Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio and heavy on the Scorpio, okay? So you guys are the type of cheater who pays attention to how many times your spouse hides their phone, right? How many times they leave to take calls. You watch how many times they come home late. You pay attention to the changes in their stories. Uh, you take mental notes on how they groom themselves and the actions that they take. And you don't rush to say anything about what you've learned, but, you've, but when you've come to your conclusion that they are cheating, the gloves come off and you become the shocking type of cheater because your spouse would never even see it coming. In fact, if somebody told them uh, that you were cheating, they probably wouldn't even believe it because you do such a great job of wearing your mask of deception that your spouse would think that 
there is no possible way that you could know what they are doing. And they would base that off of the fact that you've um, been very even killed and calm. And that energy that you've presented to them hasn't changed. Like you stayed like that the whole time. They never saw a glimmer in your eyes, a twinge of irritation. They never got any hint, any indication that you were onto them, okay? And what's also interesting about this pile is, I feel like if your spouse decided to stop cheating and to only be with you, then you would stop cheating as well. But again, you be keeping tabs. So if they started back again, you'd go back to your old uh, cheating ways as well. And if they started messing with the ex, you'd likely start messing with the ex as well. Uh, if they found someone new, you would find someone new. And in a way, I'd say that you'd give your spouse their perfect karma. Okay, it, it feels like very much so you give them the energy that they deserved because there is this energy in this pile that makes me feel like you are not the one to let your spouse get the best of you. So if cheating is on the menu for one of you, then cheating is on the menu for both of you because you are the type of cheater to even the score. So that's the kind of cheater that you are. I thank you so much for watching my pile number four. And I will see you all in my next pick a pile. Okay, guys, that's all that I have for you for today. I hope that you all have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to share this video. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Share it with your coworkers and your sneaky links. And share it with the bees because bzz, 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 you know they like to gossip. My contact information is in the description box down below. And until next time, remember... Anybody can be a superhero, even you.